Yo, hold on right quick, Chris. I need, I need some, some crowd participation. Hey, first of all, can I get all my dance moves up to the front? Come mess with me real quick. Team swag. All my teams in the building. Good team, come on up to the front. Hey, where about your brother in the man? Where Mookie and Buddha at? Hey, Mook, Buddha. Come on up from the bro, because I know you're killing it too. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna turn about real quick. Hey, yo, Chris, go on and turn that for me one time, man. Yeah. Hold up. Hey, this your boy, you my bro. We want to do a moment of silence for Precious Cole. We want to do a moment of silence real quick. Can everybody just bow your hair one time? There we go, there we go. Would you, would you like to say anything? Would you like to say something? Thank everyone for coming out. Let me say one thing to the young ladies. Young ladies, if y'all are interested in a boy or a young man and he fights or carries a gun, don't talk to him because the young brothers got a misunderstanding. They think it's tough. They think they're bad for carrying a gun and fighting. So if y'all don't talk to him, Sooner or later, our young brothers are going to get lonely and they're not going to carry a gun because they know they ain't going to get none. Right, right. Y'all understand what you say, the process? So, the I would like to first introduce all the women, Marlene Davis. Would y'all give it up one time? Marlene. Would you like to introduce Mike? Yep, this is Mr. Mike McMillan. He is the St. Louis City Licensed Collector. But more so, we wanted to acknowledge them because they also helped us tremendously in putting this and being together. But can I ask you two a question? Okay, so considering the position that you play in the community, how do you feel you can help create peace in St. Louis? We'll start with Marlene. The first thing I have to do is dedicate myself. I can't do anything out here without you. And so I have to make sure that I put things in place that protect you, number one, and they give you access for you to be all that you want to be. One thing that I know that we can do in the city of St. Louis is offer jobs, economic opportunities, scholarships, and give people the opportunity to get a college degree, which is one of the reasons why I'm so proud to be here and work with the people in our office that represent the Collegiate 100 of the 100 black men. telling youth what to do that may be against the agenda of what really solves the problems. So one of the things Darius said and the other leaders are, we need to reach into the hearts and souls of the youth to find out what you really feel are the solutions to the problems so that we can get some skin in the game on your behalf. So 
this is going to be a great project. I thank Young Roe and the others that invited me to be here. And uh, let's just make this happen and make St. Louis a safer place to live in. Thank you, Bill. But how do you feel that you can motivate the young adults that are in St. Louis through your music by creating peace? Um, first off, one thing about my music is that I'm always conscious of who's listening. Because um, I'm not, I'm like in y'all age group. And it's, I have like little cousins and sisters and everything that's always listening to my music. So right. it's important that they're singing something that's okay. Right, right. So, I mean, I'm not appearing like, you know, <laughs> little short shorts and all that. But at the same time, I hope that my music displays a message that y'all can take it home and it might help. <laughs>